first little sip of coffee. It's so good. Oh, oh, oh. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, welcome to this little space on the internet that is mine. And if you watch my video often, then hello and welcome back. Thank you so much for doing so. So today I thought we would do a bit of a different style video because it is, and I can say this for a fact, the 1st of September, which officially means it's on. Now, I know there's summer lovers out there, but over here, I am a cozy girl and I love autumn, winter months. I feel like I defrost. Like I feel like I get my personality back. I can wear all the pieces I wanna wear. And I feel like, especially when it comes to style and makeup and beauty and homeware, autumn is the absolute best season for everything about that. So I've got myself a little coffee and I got this mug from Ikea, by the way absolutely amazing um because i feel like this is gonna be a nice chatty video and i think i'm gonna call this video like my autumn wish list or something like that because i thought today we would sit down do a chatty video and talk through all of the kind of key pieces that i have been seriously lusting after and i have got a few and it's a good mix between kind of high street as well as my more like luxury items that I have my eyes on. It doesn't mean that I'm going to buy them, I wish, but it does mean that they are there and I am thinking about them and perhaps one day they'll be mine. But I wanted to do, yeah, what I have been lusting after just to give you guys some inspiration or if you guys have some of these pieces, you can tell me what you think. Um, so yes, it's going to be a bit of a long one. So grab yourself a cozy little cup of something, get some snacks. And um, yeah, let's get into the video. So obviously with these pieces, I actually don't have them to hand. These are things that are on my wish list. So what I'm gonna do, so I've got my laptop here and we will do a kind of, you know, come shopping with me, come wish list looking with me. And I've written a list on here of all the things I really want. So I'll probably pop them over here and it will showcase you kind of some of the items looking for in more detail. But let's get into it. I realise I'm blabbling along as always, so I thought let's get into it and have a look at the first thing that is on my wish list. So I've just gone on to the website and this brand is a brand called Pauline or Pauline. I'm not quite sure. It is a brand based in Paris and they do the most luxurious, gorgeous looking leather bags I have ever seen and they're not crazy expensive they're not affordable in terms of like a high street price but they're in between the two to four hundred pound mark and for like a real leather bag at this type of quality is unheard of I do have one of their bags already let me see I'm on the website just now I think it's the numero ones that I have yeah the numero Numero Neuf is the style I previously have in the shade, I think it's textured camel, but I am in the minute, I'm on the website just now, I'm obsessed, gosh my pronunciation, it's pronounced C-Y-M-E and I don't know what it is, you know where you go on Pinterest and this specific style of bag is across all of the Pinterest pictures that I'm looking at, so I've been pinning them, been manifesting this bag back into my life because it's actually on pre-order so there's a few styles you can know it's all on pre-order all of them are pre-order only and i believe they're going to be shipped out in the next two weeks or in october so if you want one you kind of need to start putting your pre-order in now so i am very much trying to be like do i need it do i not but what i love about it is you've got so much different color ranges you've got camel you've got black you've got taupe and they even do like a canvas looking one as well so again perfect transitional piece if you are looking for a leather bag but you're not ready to give up the canvas or the basket bags i feel like the canvas one of these is so stunning um i think for me i'm really looking at a toy between the cognac shade or the camel shade and i think oh, I don't know and they've got this exposed stitching onto the bag which I love I love that it can open up really wide so it'd be perfect for basically busy days when I'm in London where I need to take my laptop with me I also need to take my camera with me and maybe like a makeup bag a change of clothes a book all of these things end up being bulky so I wanted a bag that was still super minimal really chic very easy to kind of like put on my shoulder 
but at the same time it can be like almost collapsed in because it's such soft leather it can collapse in and you can have a different little shape to it so if i can i'm gonna pop some of the pinterest pictures that i've been looking at that have been my inspiration as to why my journey in finding this bag as well as like the website and it also comes with a little um like purse pouch inside i just think it's beautifully considered and very well thought out this bag and I think that is why it's on my wish list and I believe it's about between 290 if you want the mini and if you want the regular size it's 330 so again not crazy out of budget but it's still a purchase that I would have to consider and think where I would need it in my wardrobe the colors I'm going to be wearing it with and what would work well so very much on my wish list i'm just got the tab open every day and i am this close so i'd love to know your guys opinion on it and what you think okay so the next one is such a strange strange piece that i would be wishing after and i feel like this is when you know that you're in your 30s now so i'm 31 and clearly it's hit me hard this season because i love ralph lauren i just feel like I love the aesthetic of it, I love the imagery, I love the photo shoots, I love everything it's done. And I'm not like a traditional customer of theirs at all, but I do like certain pieces that they have. So I was obsessed with my Ralph Lauren, like the Ralph Polo cap that I had. I absolutely love that. Um, I wore it loads. Again, I'll see if I can pop some pictures of it up on here. And for this season, I seen a TikTok video by a creator called, I think her name's Maud. Again, she, I think she's in, can Canada I think she's based in Canada and she had and again I'll pop a screenshot here these polo like Ralph Lauren polo you know with the bear I feel like the polo bear teddy bear is very synonymous to them now and you know how you do all the sweatshirts and, and stuff you can have that on a pair of socks now like cream socks with the Ralph polo on it and it looks so cute and so good with the like uh, Birkenstead clogs you know the Boston clogs I don't know what it was but the pair of those two together looked so good and then I went on their website and I just noticed they have really good socks and like neutral colors for women and then I started thinking oh my gosh this would look so cute with like the Birkenstocks that I've got with the Uggs that I have so yeah I've been kind of on a random little rabbit hole of good quality socks in the minute and I feel like a little luxury like this again it's expensive for a pair of socks i think for three it's 30 pounds but i just love the little logo and that kind of vibe it all brings um again one where i'm thinking do i really need this absolutely not so i haven't hit the purchase add to cart button yet but it's on my mind and it is something that i'm looking at because i actually really need to just completely strip my sock drawer i don't know what's going on in there i didn't want to go in i literally put my hand in close my eyes and pull it out and hope for the best so i feel like i really need to invest in some decent like base layers for myself this autumn and i feel like bringing a new pair of socks and just in a bit of a higher uh price point and a bit of a luxury feel just give me all of the cozy vibes okay so next up is the biggest luxury purchase but i have had on my kind of vision board now for around about two years is a pair of chanel ballet flats and I've never went for them. I have on my Vestier app. Vestier is a really great pre-loved luxury shopping app, by the way. Highly recommend it. And I've set like little flags and little markers for if anyone in the UK is selling a pair of size three ballet flats from Chanel to give me a notification. And I've been trying to roughly see like the prices and everything. And I think if you were to buy brand new from a Chanel store, it's about 700 pounds but pre-loved they're going between like 300 and 500 so I think for me and what works within my budget I'm gonna go down the more pre-loved route and I would like to go into store and try on a couple of pairs just so I can get my size right because the problem if you buy pre-loved is you can't really return so especially when it comes to shoes I feel like I need to have a look at my size because I don't I could be in between sizes but I just love the Chanel ballet pumps. I think they're so classic, so versatile. I think they make outfits look amazing. And me and my friend Chloe, we do a Paris trip every year. And I just feel like they would look so good over there. I keep toying between the black pair and the tan. 
but I do think I'd go for the tan with the black points because they're just so synonymous with Chanel and they are so iconically Chanel and they're so cute and I feel like again it's something I can wear wherever whenever and at whatever age I become so they can stay in my wardrobe and they can just become a bit of like a pass me down for it if we're ever lucky enough to have kids they can have the any of my luxury goods but again I'll show you some pictures that I've been inspired by recently from Pinterest that have just led me on my journey and why it's put on my wish list but I just have never pulled the trigger on buying Chanel Valley pumps I think it's because I've been kind of purchasing higher end goods and focusing a lot more on bags and belts as my accessories and I haven't actually really purchased any high end footwear yet and I think that's because I used to have this whole thing of why am I spending so much money on things that touch the ground and will get scuffed? I think that was always my mindset. So I am still currently battling between the two. So again, let me know guys if you have any Chanel Valley pumps and you would highly recommend them. I've got a few high street alternatives from like Marks and Spencers that are so good and I do wear often. So I think for me, it's just about figuring out what I wanna do and if that's what I wanna spend my money on because this moves me on to my fourth wish list piece and this was from my current trip to Bister Village. So if I ever go back there, I'll take you with me and I will show you. But the, for the past year, and you'll remember because I man mentioned them in my previous Bister Village video, I have been toying with these Prada loafers. And the very first time I went there, they were white with gold hardware and I went in the other week and there was like a nudie taupe color like a pinky taupe color and um, Prada again with the gold hardware and they were beautiful I tried them on I'll insert a picture here but um yes I tried them on the leather was so buttery smooth and they were reduced from about 700 pounds to 340 so again a very big purchase for it to be spontaneous but it's been again on my mind for the past year and I think in my last Vister Village vlog I said to myself "Ooh, maybe I'll get them as a Christmas gift to myself so I feel like if I don't get the Chanel Bally pumps I will most likely get the Prada loafers so it all depends on how much I'm able to save what I'm able to sell because that's a tip I always sell things I'm not wearing and investing that into new purchases as well that kind of helps me um, especially with my conscience with when you're set spe swear to God today <laughs> especially when I'm spending uh, this amount of money I always try and sell something so because then I'm doing girl math and it's like practically for free obviously it's not but that's what it's like in my head um, but they're so beautiful and I feel like real leather it's such a good price and I feel like the Prada loafers do have a bit more of a substantial sole compared to the Chanel ballet pumps they're obviously flat and a smooth surface while the Prada loafers have a bit of a rigid structural sole um, with like thicker groups so that might be better in terms of longevity but I feel like the Chanel ballet pumps are a classic for life and I've loved them for so long so I'm just a little bit like mm, I'm in an eye so I'd actually love your help I'm obviously gonna put the pictures up so you guys can let me know what you think because I could they'll probably roughly end up being the same price if I can find some pre-loved so it's much more to do with what you think would be the best purchase oh the sun's gone Hmm. the sun has very much gone away so apologies again if it's coming in and out and now I'm looking a little bit gray and shadowy I'm right next to my window so the lighting might not be that consistent but moving on and uh, this one I've spotted and it's basically from a brand called Marcella London and I love this brand I first spotted it from Lydia Tomlinson on YouTube I'm sure you guys are all subscribed to her she's amazing and I obviously anything that she recommends uh, I always go and have a little look because I feel like she's very intelligent when it comes to her wardrobe and I went onto this website and I haven't officially purchased anything yet there's been a few things that I've kind of just let slip through but there's a jacket at the minute and it is called the Rika Wool Tweed Jacket Ivory it's £259 and it is stunning and I feel like that really elegant old money quiet luxury style of super ladylike chic tweed jacket it's very chanel-esque has made a huge comeback and i just feel like this is quite a good price 
for how this looks. This looks vintage and it looks absolutely gorgeous and it's got that brushed gold buttons and with the white boucle tweed, both of it together just looks amazing and the fabric looks incredible and it's got that v-line which i really like because i feel like a lot of the tweed jackets at the minute have got the round neck which is really beautiful but if you wanted something that had a little bit of a difference still the boxy shape which i love and is so classic to that kind of style of jacket but the v-neck really helps to elongate the body as well and just to give it a bit more of an elegant feel so i loved that change and it's made of 85 percent wool so i just feel like especially when you compare it to some in the high street that at the minute are currently retailing at very close prices and they don't have this kind of fabric composition so i love that the only thing that's kind of putting me off it slightly is that it is hand wash or dry cleaning only and when you're talking about you know a cream jacket or a cream piece like this it kind of makes you think how practical is that going to be on the day-to-day -day basis so that is one of the only reasons for this piece that i've been like mm, I can't because I know I'll get tons of wear out, especially if I'm going to meetings or if I've got like a daytime event I just think this piece would be perfect and it really bridges that gap between me wearing blazers all the time but then not wanting to wear like a jacket and then thinking it's a bomber jacket you know they kind of tailored bomber jackets is that too casual for every day I feel like this kind of tweed jacket is the perfect piece to help elevate an outfit to something a bit more dressier without having to rely on a blazer again. So love this piece, would buy it immediately. I just need to think whether or not it's a practical item for me to get it in ivory. Okay, so the next one, I don't actually have like any reference pictures or anything for you. I'll give you some Pinterest images so you kind of understand the vibe I'm going for. I did a huge wardrobe declutter, clear out, got rid of everything and selling everything that I no longer wear. And I got rid of every single denim pair of jeans that I own because I don't wear denim very, very rarely. And I definitely don't wear jeans over anything. I'm much more of a skirt or tailored trouser um, dresser, but I really want that to change. I love the look of jeans and I feel like with a t-shirt or a white shirt and a blazer really pairs it down. It makes it look really cool, especially when it gets into the autumn months. I feel like denim jean styling is just so effortless and so gorgeous. So with that in mind, I am going to be for the next two months really going in to denim stores, brands that are good for my shape. I think that's another reason why I've never really uh, relied on jeans very much. I find it so hard to find a good pair of jeans, but I've heard Amber Crombie and Fitch are meant to be really good for like a curved style, especially for, and they've got petite lengths, because obviously I'm five foot one, and I'm a, probably a UK size 12, maybe 14 in denim. So it's really hard to find a style that would kind of suit my frame and I still want the oversized I still want the wide lead look but then the nipped in waist so I just need to find a kind of look that is going to enhance my wardrobe go with all my outfits give my more tailored high-end pieces more of a slouchy feel um and I just think it looks great I just see so many creators in denim and they managed to dress up they managed to make it premium and not look relaxed sorry I think my battery cut out but I'm going to continue so yes I'm definitely going to be on a bit of a denim mission so if you have any recommendations i know abercrombie and fitch is meant to be amazing cos and arquette so they're the three ones that i'm gonna go and have a bit of an explore with if you've got any recommendations especially for petite let me know i'm also going to start hitting up a tailor because i feel like there's so many things i miss out on because of the leg length so i'm going to start hitting up a tailor i just feel like i'm going to start trying to be a bit more considered with my wardrobe put the effort in and all the pieces i love really trying to wear a lot more and introduce denim back into the fold because i do always have these ideas for all these selective outfits and i can never bring them together because i don't have the denim so i am going to be on a bit of a brand brainstorm changing room try on I think we've all had horror stories from denim changing room try on days, especially the Topshop changing room in Regent Street, RIP, but those changing rooms were horrific when you were trying on denim. So yeah, I've cleared them all out and I have made space for a couple of pairs. I think I'd like a light wash, a white and a dark denim blue indigo. 
that's kind of what I would love. I'm not going to go with the black jeans just yet because I would always probably just opt for a pair of black trousers. So that's the three I'm looking for and I just need to find a style that's going to suit me. Get myself a little sip of coffee. I feel like I've chatted to you guys for ages. Apologies for the massive ramble. But this is my autumnal wish list video. I feel like, like I said, I feel like I'm bringing back the old me, so I cannot wait to bring you a lot more videos on style, on beauty, fashion pieces, as well as um, my vlogs in between. I just want to try and give you guys a little bit more content on here and just get, yeah, have like a close chitty chat vlog. I used to love these ones as well. I never know if they're just a bit too old school now, but that's the kind of YouTube I love and that's the kind of YouTube that I was kind of growing up with. So I'm going to at least have that for my little corner of the internet but thank you so much for watching this video please let me know what is on your wish list this season if there's anything you've recently purchased that you love if there's anything from my wish list that you're like now i'm obsessed with oh oh i think you should maybe purchase that one over that i love all the suggestions and i would love to have a little bit of a conversation in the comment box below if you've made it to the end of the video and you haven't subscribed please i would absolutely love it if you could subscribe to my channel and if you already are subscribed thank you so much i really do appreciate you and all the comments below give this video a little likes and i'll know if you like this kind of content but thank you so much for watching this fashion video have a lovely week and i'll speak to you all soon bye anyway i just got up i've made myself a coffee i've done my thing here really quick because today we are going into london so 